This is Flame. Flame is going to go on an adventure that's going to lead him to kill himself. You see, Flame was not like other kids when growing up. He was complete dog water. But time passes. Flame been going through harsh training that lead to multiple deaths. But with the help of his stupidity and his four months of training, he ends with the top 10 in Hope Plus One Piece Legendary Leaderboard. Until he saw the leaderboard, and now he aims for top 100, so he wouldn't suffer as much. The journey starts now. Alright, guys! <laughs> oh, man. Woo, man. What time is it? 12.30 p.m. I had to do this real quick. Are right, you guys seeing the title? This is the Advanced Guide. I covered the Beginner's Guide, and now we're doing the Advanced Guide. If I remember, the beginner guide went all the way up to Devil Fruit. Like, I sure had to get hacky and everything, Devil Fruit and all that. I sure I had to level up hacky, uh, the levels of hacky, you know, like for observation hacky and boost or hacky. And well, I got all the things I just show here too. This is the events, you know what I mean? <laughs> so I'm probably, so I'm probably gonna go over, um, you know, fastest way to get levels. Like when you go to like, you know, hacky and everything. Uh, legendary mode, uh, the best way to grind, the best way to grind for hacky levels, and etc. So how are we going to start this off? We, we, we're going to see, remember, this, how, is this going to be edited? So for me, is this going to take like an hour recording? For you, it's probably a 20 minute video. So let's get this. All right, first thing, I tell you how to get hacky and what's the command to find variety. If you ever want to know what the command is, and like, not the location, I didn't show the location, I only show one of the location, uh, go check out the first beginner guide. Now, we're going to show you how to level up hacky. So if you guys click stats, you see you have a hacky level. For you guys, when you just got hacky, it's going to be level one, if I remember. The only way to level hacky when you're that low level, you have to either click R for keyboard, or, click or hold Y for controller if you're Xbox user. For clicking R or Y or holding them, it puts on your observation hacky. So if you do it right now, this thing will pop up, which is, means your observation hacky is on. You sense the world around you. Now for Xbox players, if you click start, and for computers player, if you click escape, which brings up the menu and click back again, it stays the forever lock in. You don't have to keep holding R. As you see, this purple bar is hacky, and that's how much you have and to go all the way down. As you see, my percentages is going down around roughly like 20% every time down. Now, when you're in this mode, it shows every enemy or any players around the whole map highlighted. So you see over there, that's a cave demon. You see over here, this is a thief guy. If we see a Sam, we actually have multiple plays that we could see over there that's highlighted. And the good thing, or to say the best thing about this mode, if you have it on, if you get hit by an enemy or player, you will dodge it if they do not have observation on. For example, if I go to Thieves, hold R, and go to them, I will start dodging, and my hacking will actually go down faster but you will get way faster observation at speed. You guys probably all like, wait, frame. But isn't it better to just hold R and let it go down slowly to get more at speed? No, it's actually the same way. If I hold R, I will get, look how slow I get the at speed. Only by 0.1 every, like, let's say, two seconds to five seconds. That is not worth it. Well, this is going down very slow. If you actually go get to the enemy and hold R or Y if you use an Xbox, it will go up faster, but I know, I know how you guys saying stuff like that, but my hack, it goes up really slow, even though I'm at level 1, level 5, level 10, or something like that. Here's the thing, obviously it will go up slow because, you know, you have no hacky stamina. One click will bring it down to zero for you guys who are low level hacky. The best way to start level your hacky is get to like level 50 hacky, and then go to these, or if you have a spin account, and when you go to thieves or your spin account, hold R, let your hacky go all the way down. Okay, this is going to be a faster way for you guys. Because for me, it's going to take forever. I'm low 502 for hacky. And when you let go all the way down, you actually could leave the server and draw back again or join back to a new server. And this will be 100% back and just keep doing the same process. 
That's the fastest way to level up your hacky. Now, you guys probably like, wait, frame, how do you use booster hacky? So I could do times two damage or hits logia. To turn on your booster hacky, you actually have to have it or unlock it to use it. And to unlock it, you actually go to your talent special. You will need 200 hacky. As you see, I'm already at 500. So the way to turn it on, you either click Q on keyboard or B on controller. And when you click on it, it turns hacky on. You're all infused with hacky. I have, you know, gloves and everything. Let me actually take this off real quick for you guys. If I go to customize and go to arm, if I take this off, as you see, I have hacky on. If I click Q again, I'm back to my normal color and if I Q again, I'm back to hacky on. Now I'll do double the damage and I will be able to hit low gears. And if you guys are not getting the hacky talk, every level of hacky you get, you get more stamina for your hacky. And every level of hacky, you actually get health too for your main health stats. So let's say every one level of hacky, you will get 20 health. <laughs> Alright, I... <laughs> thank God. <laughs> all right so shout out to thunder god i think he's one of my subscribers or i could say one of my supporters so shout out to him if you saw him now let's get some real talk there is swords that's really good that you get for your character to do damage to players they're not the best to level up for it speed wise but they're really good to kill players so let's say you want to do pvp it's really good so first sword that you want they could do a lot of damage that's easy to get is Katana. So this is pretty much mini Yoru. You guys probably not gonna know what this sword is and who uses it, but I want to show it to you. There you go, mini Yoru. And by showing this to you, you guys will know this is a sword or the tiny toothpick that Mihawk used to actually damage Zoro until he took out the big sword. To get this sword, you don't have to get pay no berry, no gems or nothing. The only way to unlock this sword for free. You have to get 10,000 kills. I know you guys are like, oh, 10,000 kills? I know it's hefty, but it's actually worth it. So this sword has, doesn't have that much reach, but it does high DPS damage. If I go to Thief and just start clicking, he, they just get shredded. I, I got confirmation for Thunder to be test dummy. So I had to use my hacky because, you know, Thunder is actually a magma smoke, so it's low gear. So if I just start click on him, it does very high DPS damage. So only me being there for like, let's say two, one second or almost two seconds, I did like almost a quarter of his health. So it's really worth it for the DPS. And the cool thing is it has a Y move. If I click Y, it does a slash. And the good thing about this one, you can keep spamming this one. The cooldown is very, very low. And it does lots of damage. Now, the next sword, which is Yoru. Yoru will be the best weapon that you will have to be before you go to Legend and everything. This weapon, almost every high level or say legendary people, if they have it, they're using it no matter what. To get Yoru, you actually have to get a hundred thousand kills. I know it's a lot, it's a lot, but it's worth it. They then nerf it a little bit. It used to do a thousand damage every hit, and with hacky, two thousand damage, and with a slash, it's do nine thousand damage. Now every hit does six hundred damage with hacky. It does a thousand two hundred damage, and with a slash, it do a maximum around I think six thousand damage. If I remember. So now if I test it on Thunder God, I have to put Hacky on and hit him. It has lots of DPS damage. If I start clicking it, it does lot look how much damage it did for just clicking it. And you could do combo. So the slash does a lot. So let's say I go to Thunder and I start hitting it and I click Y. Look at his health bar. It went down below half health. And you guys probably are like, whoa, frame, how am I gonna get all these kills? It sounds lots of grinding. Obviously, it's going to be lots of grinding. You need 10,000 kills and then 100,000 kills for Loyoru. But the best way they could do it is by keep killing thieves all over and all over again. Because you actually go get the NPC counted as a kill. It doesn't have to be all players. So if I go to my stats, so if I kill the thief, I see I have 113,095 kills. So if I kill the thief, I will have 113,096 kills now. So the NPC will be counted. And this is the best way to get yo. Get three of them spawns here. So every time they spawn in, you will get three kills to add it to your thing. And the best way to kill them is AFK killing them. So let's say if you get Magma, Candy Spike, Hot Fruit, 
a uh, spin any fruit that has a body that does damage when they touch you or any move that you could just you know or click and just keep it clicking and killing them would be the best way to you know get the kills for yo and all the ten thousand sword thing but if you guys want a sword that actually is takes less weight to grind it's still grindy but it's easy to get the yo uh, than the yo or the tiny yo you could get the buzz sword so if i go to my talents sword and i take out the ultra great sword this is the sword that the buzz drops and it looks pretty cool it looks like a great sword and all that you know it does it has you know kind of good dps and it does have a y move i click y it does a slash oh yeah for controllers to do the slash um thing for controllers i think it's up d pad if i remember and you guys probably asking frame how do i get the sword what boss are you talking about how do i summon this boss and what's the best way to kill this boss now you need to know the first thing the location of the boss like where to go so you can summon everything the location is actually this big blue pillar that's far away all right now that we are in this island the way to spawn the boss you actually would need three food to pull up in this pendulum thing with pillars that as you see is inside the stone and you're asking like how do i get the pillow up off the stone so i can put the food inside you actually have to get around if i remember 13 fruits to actually summon the three pillars to go up so you could place the other three fruits to summon the boss if i go down here there will be etched a pillar that's gonna be around this whole island that you actually have to put a fruit in so especially this one right here you see this one the pillar I put fruit up there, the fruit stays floating, and I have to get more fruits for all of these other pillars around. And then the top one will go up to so place the last three to summon the boss. I know how you guys say and everything, like, damn fame, this is a lot of grinding. One fruit is 30 minutes. So you want to get all these other fruits, I had to spend more than five hours to summon this boss. But here's a good thing about this. When you do get all the fruits underneath here and the three pillars go up, this three pillar will always stay up for that server so you don't have to get you know another 13 fruits you only have to keep getting three fruits only and the boss doesn't only drop the sword which is not 100 chance if i remember the sword is around like a 15 percent chance or 20 percent chance to get the sword but he also dropped berry i was getting around like 80 000 berry every time i killed him when i was flare now the best fruits i could use to actually kill the boss let's go i know you guys see me i'm not in the Roblox right now we're in the trello page this is gonna be easy for me to do it from this page uh like the best fruits to use to fight the boss so if you go to common food the only best food i see here in common food that could actually help you fight the boss i have to say is has to be uh either clone i do not recommend ha so clone food and chop food i think are the two best foods in common that could maybe use to defeat the boss if you don't have a good food for uncommon there's actually multiple you can maybe use gum but i think you also take damage back love is useless do not use love bomb is actually pretty good you could use bomb smelt you could use 100 percent smell because the one move in the floor and for to get damage reduction do not use diamond barrier will be good string will be i Probably do not use it, it will not affect the boss. Now, for her devil food, there's multiple, multiple devil food you could use. Gravity, 100% you could use it. That food will be really good, especially the meteors. Do not use op. Op is useless. Venom is also useless. Candy, you could use candy. Hollow, do not use it, it's useless. Chili food, do not use it, it's useless. Gas food, you could kind of use it, but you won't do as that much damage. Flare, a hundred percent you could use it. Ampel, death ball, something like that. The ball move does lots of damage. That's how I used to do it back then. I used to do like half of his health, almost killing one shot. Night food, a hundred percent could use it. Smoke food, don't I don't recommend it. You could use it. Sand food, yes, you could use it. Rumble, yes, you could use it. Magma, definitely magma you could use it. And snow, you could kind of use it. Now, for Ultra, none of the Ultra, I really don't think it's good except the Vampire, because the bats and everything. You could do lots of damage with the bats. Quake food, you could spam the Quake and everything, but I don't think it's worth it. And, and Phoenix and Dark, it's no damage move. So yeah, that's pretty much for the food you could use for the boss. Alright, now, one of the best way to make Berry. There's actually two ways, but... The, the best one, I'm leaving it for the Edspo guide. So stay tuned for the Edspo guide. 
Now, the first best way to make money, if you're not high level yet to like legendary mode, you will need barrier and it will involve that island over there, which is a boss island, but it's not that strong. All right, now when you get to this island over here, which I say the boss is at, which you actually is inside then to open this up, you actually just have to click this ball thing over there that's shooting out the beans for the other balls. Now, the only reason I said that barrier is actually really good for this boss because barrier, you could trap him and just use the other clicker to kill him while you he's trapping and keep spawning in the trap. And why I said really, that this is actually pretty good for an FK farm with the other clicker with barrier, every time you kill this boss, he draws a thousand bounty and a thousand berry. If I open this up, I just touch this, and I use Yori and kill him. And if you see me, I have 203,000 right now. If I kill him, I should have 204,000. So let's try to kill him. He's actually not that hard too, especially. Uh, he does us damage, but he's not that hard in my opinion. He really is not. There we go. And now if I go to my stats, we have 204,000 now. Pretty much 5,000, but I'm not counting the, those money, the 995, so don't look at that. So let's say one whole day of you just auto clicking AFK. An OPL with barrier and killing this boss doing the trap strategy. You probably make around, let's say, from 2 million berry to like 5 million berry, maybe. I haven't done it in a long time, so I do not know, but I know you will make 300, 3 million. Now, we are actually on the last thing for the events guide. So, this last thing actually needs this boss over here and needs you to have mad stats. Do not mind hacky. Hacky actually doesn't count so with this. You need a total level of 2,000 with these four. So if you have hacky, it does not count. You need match stats for defense, melee, sniper, and sword. And once you get match stats, you also will need a bounty of 10 million. But when you get a bounty of 10 million and match stats, you actually have to come over here, kill this boss for the server, and when you kill this boss, there's gonna be a fountain that spawns randomly around the map. It could be in the snow biome, it could be in Purple Island all the way back there, it could be Victory Island, and the best way to know all of this, I recommend you check out the other OPL YouTubers for the fountain spawn. And once you have your 10 million bounty, mad stats, and you kill the boss, the Vulcan, to spawn in the fountain and go to the fountain, you have to bring him any food. It could be a common, uncommon, or ultra. But I recommend just bring him a common. And once you put that food in the fountain, attached things will pop up in the screen saying, do you want to get everything or something like that? And your screen will turn black. And once you click yes, you will actually go back to level four so everything resets except hacky you have defense um level one melee level one sniper level one and sword level one but you do keep your bounty but you do not keep your berry so make sure you use your berry and you're like frame why do i want to do that go back to level zero pretty much here's why you will get purple tets in your name so if I go to settings, enable my playlist, as you see, my name has a purple jewel next to it. The red one, I will show you that in expert. But purple jewel means that you are legendary mode. And because you are legendary mode, you could have two devil fruits at once. So if I go to stats, you see I have sand fruit and vampire fruit. And to be pretty honest, it is very, very worth it to have a combo. So I recommend it. If you're high level enough, you're not legendary, and you have all the things required to do it, so do it. But wait, guys, before you actually go to legendary mode, guys, listen to this first. You guys already know when you go to legendary mode, your berry will go back to zero, so you will not have any money. I'm telling you guys, before you go to legendary mode, go to this bar, which is in this area right here, you know, compared to the map. It's next to this spawn. Just go right here. And when you go inside the guy, go buy any drink you need. So let's say you got 10 million berry or you got like 20 million berry. How much berry you have? Buy, let's say, 100 cider, 100 lemon, 100 juice, 100 smoothie, and the rest of anything you want. Go to legendary mode. You will have the drinks and boom, you will be at least like a lower 1,000 before you know you go into legendary mode. So I recommend you doing this before legendary mode. And also storage. I recommend you buy one storage at least, put a rare food there, especially a logia, 
And when you go to legendary mode, you keep the storage with the food inside and eat the rare. And there you go. You're in legendary mode with at least a rare and at least at level 1000 or plus. All right, guys. Sadly, we are done with the events guide. I know, guys. I know. But, guys, it's not over yet. I still have the expert guide. And if, it, if there's anything I missed for the events guide and the beginners guide, I'll put all in the expert guide. But yeah, that's pretty much it. But don't go yet, guys, yet. Don't go. Sit down again. Do not close the video off yet. We still have our compass that we do in the end of our all OPL video. So our compass going that way. <clears throat> Let's just do this <clears throat> one more time. <clears throat> With the power teleportation and not editing. You guys gonna see me there? Now! There we go. <laughs> Alright. And let's see what we gonna get. So we have a chance to get common, uncommon, rare or ultra rare. Which I don't expect any rare or ultra rare. Everyone get! Let's go! Chest slap! Common! Woo! I'm still the common guy. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, It's, uh, if you like the content and everything, Hit the subscribe button. I think I do pretty good content. You know what I mean? <laughs> we went to 5,000 subscribers. We did it to 1,000. I think we could do it to 5,000. Uh, hit the like button too. You don't have to, but it gets my video out there. More support and everything. Turn the notification, you know, so you can be the first one in my video to comment or say something. Which brings me to the comment section. You could tell me a game to play. It does not have to be a Roblox game. You could tell me a video to react to. But please link the video so it'll be easy for me to find. Or you can even say hi or how you doing. And I, will, and I will always, always try to reply back to you guys. And yeah, that's pretty much it. It's a boyfriend. Ow!